Hello, Confetti Club. It is Pixie, and today we are here in my living room for a good old classic thrift haul. It's hard to deny that there's just something about sitting down with a big collection of items and going through them and just it's a squirrel-like, acorn, dragon-like, jewel-like instinct. And we're here today for some of that. This is a bit of an amalgamation. I have two things that I actually ordered specifically online, but both were secondhand. So this is gonna be a secondhand slash thrift store haul, but they are just too fun and too random on their own to include in any other video. So let me just start off with some fashion. This is my only, well, actually, I'm not sure. Some of this other stuff could be vintage, but this is the only thing I know the year this is a 1960s romper that I picked up from an Instagram vintage shop thing uh, called Happy Hippie Vintage. It is this amazing bright yellow flower power print. I just absolutely love it and it's this interesting kind of slinky ribbed material and I do have an interesting story with this in that I was wearing it on a little drive to my home province and when I hopped back into my seat just like kerplonk let's get going back on the road I hit the seat so hard that I ripped my gosh dang pants. The crack and the ripping sound was like straight up out of a cartoon. It was like verp. And um, yeah, I was like, oh, that didn't sound good. And when I got to my home, thank God I had a big cardigan. I just threw over and I didn't have to make any more stops. So it's from the 60s and I'm not mad at all. I literally, I chatted with the Happy Hippie Vintage seller just being like, haha, I get that it's vintage, so I'm not mad. But um, yeah, funny, I ripped it uh, on the, on the, uh, on the, uh, the booty crack so extremely severely that um, when I showed my mom, yeah, it was, <laughs> it was quite scandalous. So I will have some modeling footage anyway. I just won't show you me turning around in it. <laughs> and I'll probably be doing some sort of like weird, tucky, rolly kind of situation. Cause yeah, it's like, it fits me perfectly on the bust and on the booty and on the waist, but the whole torso is like two inches just too long on me. I love this so much. Super worth um, the alterations. Check out Happy Hippie Vintage, I guess. I will make a, a little pile of my goodies. Oh, so fun. I miss doing clothing hauls. But the more rare they are, the more special they are, like a gem. That's the only clothing thing I ordered online. I guess I'll do all the fashion together. And then the rest of my clothing items are from two different trips. From my first thrift outing, I scored these amazing pants. If you watched my scene transformation video, which just came out before this video, um, you would have seen me doing my little dance in these beforehand. I actually went home and right away started Googling the brand on the tag and could not find anything. Actually, I found one single other random uh, sweater being sold on eBay with the same tag and logo. It says gad hyphen abouts. Um, I don't know, couldn't find the year, couldn't find any info. And it's my size with a little bit of room to spare. They have this elasticated waist, which I mean, I know for some people is a fashion no-no. I think these are the most perfect little bubblegum pink work pant, but still like cute and feminine, like so 80s. I swear to God, my mom has like, or had these exact same pants. Yeah, the drop crotch. Um, and then I, I do a little roll up on the little, the little, ah! These are just so cute and they fit me like a dream and there's no opening or anything at all. There's deep ass pockets and no zipper. These are my dream pants! Love these, love these for everything and they're the perfect color pink. Oh my God, I could go on, ah! I will springboard off of that into the other garment that I wore with those, which was also a new thrifted find. This I got from another thrift store. This is just a lavender turtleneck moment. I thought it was a cute little kind of like tight slinky dinky fit around the uh, torso and the arms 
and then just this sweet little turtleneck i don't know i can't get enough of turtlenecks um i think they look good in any color and one thing i'm always looking out for at thrift stores is just basics in my colors and my size so like these pink little work pants and this lavender friggin turtleneck oh my god so 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 happy i love this outfit Let's do another knit. I haven't worn this yet in an outfit and I'm very excited. I want to add some more lime to my wardrobe. What's up with that? Why am I hating on lime? How come there's no lime green in my wardrobe? It's an excellent color. I want more of it. 2020 to 2021, Jill wants more lime. So I picked up this lime cardigan. I guess I'm trying this on for you here. Womp womp. Oh, I'm wearing my Lucy and Yaks as pants. Please don't judge. So yeah, this is just a super duper happy lime cardigan. Again, slinky dinky little knit on the arms and it goes down, woo! You will see it in the modeling video, but reaches down to like mid thigh, past fingertip length at middle school dress code. I think I am actually going to replace the buttons. Buttons, changing them out is such an easy way to make a garment cuter or more your style. So yeah, keep your eyes out for this on my body with different buttons. Yay. This doesn't have a tag on it at all. Ooh, mysterious. These colors together, I'm just saying. I have two more clothing things. Um, my mission actually was to pick up some more basics for back to school. Um, during quarantine, I have been definitely living in big, big, extra large shirts and just kind of floating around. You know, pants are optional, shoes are optional, bra optional, everything optional big shirt so i actually had a purpose um just so you guys know i'm not going out and spending money on clothes just because um wanted to pick up some good heading to school working around basics because i'm gonna be in public again <laughs> so i picked up another pair of pants these hey little king hi these pants were a little bit more of a dice roll and of course due to world stuff um the fitting rooms were not open which makes sense it's like a try it on at home sort of deal so i kind of said a little prayer on this one they're kind of in the like you know you hold it up and it, it passes the across waist test but like there ain't no stretch so we kind of got to see they do go on my body i will say these I, I would definitely go a size up from these, but I like them so much and they fit close and they were cheap enough and I don't really feel like going back to the thrift store. So I am gonna keep them. Um, I think these are super cute. If I'm desperate and maybe I just, you know, if I stay my quarantine weight, let's be real, then maybe I'll put in like a panel here on the sides, but I don't know my weight kind of fluctuates like the turnip stock markets in animal crossing so you never know they're fluctuating the turnips are fluctuating <laughs> i think these are actually homemade they seem homemade from the inside like i can i can see i can see the little uh pinking sheer cut edges and it's really nicely made it's not obvious like it's not bad but i think these are um like home hobby or student made super cute little gingham pink capris i have one final clothing thing this i was this was probably the biggest like debatey thing but it was pretty cheap and a very bizarre find by the brand free people I really don't know much about the brand free people, but I recognized it on the tag and I was a thrifting and it was a pretty cute, so I grabbed it. This is a little frilly, feminine, slinky dinky, I keep saying slinky dinky, but you know, when the fabric kind of goes Sling sling, sling a dink. A little croppy toppy blouse situation. This is definitely a little bit more of a muted pink than I would normally go for. Like, for comparison, Let's get it out. But honestly, these aren't that bad. Like I wouldn't say, my, I probably wouldn't wear these together, but it wouldn't be illegal. It's, you know, it's definitely at least cool toned. Yeah, and I, I tried it on at home, obviously, and it's 
really, really comfy and cute. And it does make me feel like just a sweet little, honestly, like a sweet little cottagecore maiden. So I grabbed it. And it still has the tag on and everything. Like, hi, are we all right? Yes, a feminine blouse. I'm sorry, I just get to watch my hair flatten as this video goes on. <laughs> and now we're on to knickknacks and other. <laughs> I'm just gonna call it other. You know when you're just at the thrift store and you, you find something and it's your one true love? Let's address the elephant in the room, actually. We have a new member of the family. This? Actually, that can be what we do in the comments, please. Can we help name him? I will put images. I don't want to disturb him because clearly he's found his home and resting place in our humble abode. When I found this at the thrift store, it was the most serendipitous moment I have had in many, many, many moons. So please welcome to the family this beautiful flower. Please help me name him in the comments or her or them. We're not sure. Maybe you decide. We of course have Jennifer here, just keeping in line with the Pixie Locks universe. Other characters in our roster include like Panini, Sandwich, Salami, no, Sand, wasn't one Soil? True Pixie Locksers will know. Let's move on to the to the knickknackery. Um, I'll start with this. I guess this isn't a knickknack. This isn't. This is a textile. It's in the middle, but. I can't help myself from going into the baby blanket section and just scooping them all up for myself. This is a like a big a, a big boy sized, you know, it's not like two feet by three feet, a knitted blanket situation that just looks like the most happy Easter dance floor of all time. Um, I actually have been draping this over this pink couch lately, which is very, very happy. And also we moved um, the couch that is usually in the office right over here in the living room. So they complement each other very nicely. And I really like how our living room has been looking. Um, over the past couple of weeks, kind of just, I don't know if it's quarantine or if it's back to school season. I think it's a mix of both, but I've been on such a furniture moving around like rampage. I moved this whole couch all the way downstairs. Like I flipped my Ikea Kallax on its side. There's been a lot of redecorating going on. And it's like just me in my home scooting around things I already own. The amount of joy you can find from that is ridiculous. Similarly to this flower, when I walked in to my value village and I saw this, I knew that it was just meant to be. Are you kidding me? Who is she? And like, who made her? And I love her. Actually, it was made in 1998 by Priscilla Hillman. Priscilla? Thank you. This obviously I found in the knickknack section and it actually came with four little bear friends. This is a Wizard of Oz, uh, like bear display <laughs> experience. As you can see, it came equipped with four wonderful bear friends. These were uh, slightly horrifyingly like duct taped to it, all just like wrapped together. But I think they are just the happiest little friends ever. They don't have little like slots to put their feet in, so they do kind of like fall over. And I also kind of like it just as the rainbow on its own. I got it because I thought like, it might be cool for if I photograph earring product photos in the future, like shooting jewelry and stuff or anything small for my business. I thought it would be a cool little prop. And also, um, it looks really good next to my TV. I just love it. Second up, or I guess third up, how many, how many of these are we gonna classify as like living, breathing things? Third up on our list of friends. Okay, I have a friend that I went to high school with who collects these itty bitty little like ceramic clowns. And um, he inspired me and I just saw this sensual little slice and I had to pick him up. What is this pose all about? I think it's absolutely hilarious. So first of all, he's on like a, like a wedge, like a cake slice type deal. But then 
he's making this like absolutely sensual little suggestive little like hello there and he's kicking his feet up and he's like kind of like like you gotta admit like that's a flirtatious stance i don't know i think he's hilarious the colors are perfect it's pink and blue and yellow with a little rainbow hat so um both this and this has been living on either side of my tv that's the art on the fridge of like home decor like that's where my most favorite little nicky knacks go beside the tv and this last thing was actually ordered online as well it's the other thing i was talking about haha <laughs> i did not forget about it this actually low-key ended up being like steve and i's two-year anniversary kind of like present thing to share together because i love scrabble i love to spell i love a spelling word game it is so much fun there's something about scrabble i don't know is that the most boring board game to have be your favorite of course with all things i was like can i get a cute version and it okay not only this but we did have like a crappy kind of cheap scrabble set that didn't spin around and it was just like the fold out board you know there is definitely advantages to getting the board with the wheels and the grooves for the letters i'm a nerd i have her thank you to david whatever your last name is for selling this literally the only like unopened and not super duper duper crazy expensive one i could find ah we have been playing this a lot i again how many times can i just say i love scrabble even the inside is pink we have here kind of like a retro diner uh ice cream color palette and oh the bottom of it is pink are you kidding me just like just kill me Whomp. and it's wooden which is really nice the little bag that comes with it is purple this isn't my favorite color in the world i kind of wish it was pink or green oh my god i'm reviewing a scrabble board but what's inside <laughs> that is even more epic i took some pictures of the freaking pencil but the freaking things you put your letters on are pink and they're like bubblegum pink with like little itty bitty little cute like white caps it's just i'm sorry i'm very excited about this we use it a lot we're in quarantine steve and i are here just staring at the walls looking for things to do so yes uh scrabble <laughs> thank you guys very very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this little thrift slash secondhand haul. We got some clothes, we got some decor, we got some clown banks, we got some Scrabble, and yeah, this was super fun. Um, I'm gonna get a confetti member. This video's Fidget Confetti Club member is Storm Brielle, or Storm Brielle on Instagram, who did this super, super happy illustration of me in the bunting party shirt uh, blousey thing that I made earlier this year, and just like with a happy rainbow and very happy energy. I love this so much. I love the face. Like, what joy! You're very, very good at drawing expressions. Thank you so, so much for sharing this with me. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you in the next video, which is not this one, because this one's over. Bye!